Tuesday, April 21st, 2015. Why city societies fail? How often do you interact with wild animals, wild forests? City life is about people. People all the time, daily, everywhere. No forests, no wild animals. Excluding some few city comfortable birds and the small hardy bugs. A society centered around humans, ignoring other life, leads itself to detachment from nature, and soon after collapse, self-destruction. City-states thousands of years back had suffered from this same mistake when they overpopulated relying on a local river. When that river dried up, the people had to disperse trying to survive the chaos. If not a natural disaster, then a collision of cities. Overpopulated societies became uncaring for the smaller part of their members, as people are in abundance, and become an easy sacrifice for further growth. Massacres ensue. However, this does not mean that societies must be small and distant. A city is a lump of people under a single rule. In contrast, a collection of independent towns can hold as many people in a similar area of land yet function entirely differently. Societies can be endlessly vast, active and benefiting. All that without sacrificing nature. A town lush with trees, streets that allow wild animals to roam, a daily life that does not lock people inside concrete boxes or demand that they sit in tin boxes driving for hours. Next time you ponder about society or civilization, drop that city image off your mind. Instead, imagine a wild, lush nature with life-loving people and an array of technology that only reinforces this.